Hey, what's going on guys? This is Roger2891 from OTR Gamer TV here and today we wanted to give you lots of video on the crew calling all units update. I'm going to try to give you as much information as I can. Um, I know we've made previous videos on the crew and if you haven't seen them, don't worry, I'll share them at the end of this video. Anyway, getting back to the topic. So apart from the new cars, what else is new in this DLC? Well, first of all, it has a brand new storyline, which includes 12 cop missions. From what I understand, in these story missions, you'll be contacted by um, by Zoe. Your role is to take down a brand new gang. Your job is to catch these races in this new gang with abilities introduced in this new DLC. Um, sounds simple, right? You just chase people, take them down. Now, the crew has included these new abilities. That, um, there's a few for the cops and there's a few for the races. The ones for the cops include are uh, Jam. This basically deactivates the target's user interface, so it basically kind of takes all your map and speed and everything away. Um, the second is uh, EMP. I'm sure you've not seen this in some videos as well. That uh, the EMP going off. Basically, the EMP disables all the electronics of the people that you're chasing. So it will basically take off your steering, your speed and everything um, there's going to be more abilities but from my research uh, Ubisoft has only revealed these, they will um, reveal the rest of them in the in the DLC as for the street racer abilities the street racers will be able to have flashbang this basically blinds the opponent, I'm sure those of you who play uh, like the Call of Duty games will know what this is you will also have unlimited nitro as a racer which gives you and your crew unlimited nitro and finally you have the guardian ability this will protect you and anyone close to you in your crew if you're being attacked by the police and it will um, basically it will protect you from any police abilities for a short period of time street racers can also use the EMP from the research that I've done um, it also uh, another thing that I found out was that if you use your ability whilst your crew members are or those who are helping you in the mission are close to you they will also be affected by it for example my friend over there Omar driving if he was helping me in a mission and I had the ability of unlimited nitro if he was close to me he would also get that and he would also be able to use unlimited nitro um, Ubisoft have made it that you can only choose two abilities whether you're a cop or a racer this means having your crew pick different abilities is key to completing the missions and chases so what this basically means that if I'm driving as a, a police guy and I wanted to stop my you know the guy in front of me I would have to use EMP and something else and Omar over there if he was helping me pursue somebody I will tell him to choose a different ability so basically everyone in your crew should have different abilities because it will help you out take down the opponent that's my strategy anyway but you'll only be a, a, you're only capped to two abilities whether you're a cop or a racer apart from the story there will also be a new type of gameplay now this i think is interesting this is where everyone in the crew can get involved and they will, basically there's going to be precious crates that uh, include all kinds of rewards and their position is renewed daily that means that Ubisoft will be changing the positions of these special crates on a daily basis which will, you know, kind of makes it fresh and new for people who still play the crew. Um, every time a racer picks up a crate, a, trace, uh, a police chase is triggered and both cops, AI and players are alerted. So if you're, playing, if you're driving around as a cop, you will see on your map or you'll be alerted on your screen that so and so has, uh, has taken a special crate and your job is obviously to stop them before they deliver it or get to the delivery point. That means that a chase can either be a player versus everyone, which means everyone could be chasing him, or a player versus player. Either way, no racer will go unnoticed. Plus, any player, cop, or racer can hop in the chase at any time. So, uh, the chance of, so example, if you if you if I was going to drive and I, I took the crate and I'm driving now, anybody, basically everyone else is my enemy. But then if my crew sees it so say me omar and other people are the cops and we see it the race now becomes a player versus player it's not just a uh, player versus anybody it's a pvp lobby then it's, it, i think that's a good twist to the game man that's like i think the crew really went in with that 
I hope that's clear like so for example if you're racing and you're going for the crate everyone will be alerted right so it's, it could be you versus AI and everyone can get involved or it could be player versus player where it's just like a mission so you're driving with your crew you get the thingy and then the crew is alerted of cops so then we we enter the chase and we start chasing you um i think from reading from reading up on all this uh extra missions i think that ubisoft is trying to tell us something there'll be a new pvp race in the in the player versus player lobbies so there will actually be a race which allows cops versus races i don't know if that's true but from the information that i'll be reading i think that the possibility of a pvp cop versus races race is is high like i think yeah i think anyway moving on some of you may be wondering how do i become a cop there will be a police spec so that will mean you have to upgrade the performance of your cop car as you would with any other car i think that's the most simplest way to explain it you know how you got the perf spec street spec and all that you have another spec for police where you'll be able to customize your cars again um, you guys have already seen the cars that will be included in the other videos again I'll be including them at the end and one last thing many additional police vehicles will be coming to the crew calling all units after the launch I got this information from the official website and even if you manage to get all the police vehicles you'll still be able to unlock new full stop vehicles play by playing as a cop so what that means is there will be brand new vehicles even after the launch of the game so guys, just be ready for that man, I can't wait for this anyway, I can't wait for this update. Anyways guys, that's all for today, hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative, please give this a massive thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and share our channel. Thank you for watching this video, peace.